Hello, collective. Welcome back to the Ascender Divination Priestess channel. Um, so we have someone out here that is afraid of some type of reconciliation taking place. Uh, someone may even be afraid to apologize for something. Um, but let's go ahead and go. Let's go ahead and get into the tarot reading. <laughs> I forgot to bring my water again. <laughs> Anyways, so we're starting out with a King of Pentacles. Uh, let's see what's going on. There could be a king of pentacles that may be leaving an environment, leaving an institution, some type of uh, collaboration. Maybe he was working with a queen of swords before or something of that nature. Maybe this was someone in this man's ear telling him to do something and he may be finding the truth out about her. Uh, it's ironic because he's getting away from one queen of swords to go towards another queen of swords. And then this may be to work with this person since we're starting out with a pentacles card and a five of pentacles uh so this man is leaving yeah he's leaving this came out sideways he's leaving this uh whatever this is like he's leaving one environment one institution one community to go somewhere else um, and whoever he was working with in this community that he's leaving is a queen of swords reverse because of this uh Knight of Cups out here in the reverse. Now, he's finding out that this woman is not genuine. This is not a friend. Maybe he thought this was someone he could trust. And he's finding out that this is a sneaky link. This is someone that's very cunning. Um, maybe she operates from the lower energy of the Queen of Swords, which would make sense since she's uh, coming out with the Knight of Cups in reverse with to her. This is someone that does nothing but cause conflict, does a lot of manipulations behind the scenes. Someone is very crafty with the way they use words, and she may be having some type of emotional outburst, or is in some type of denial that uh, maybe she's going through some type of karma, or there's some type of tower taking place in her life. She may be upset with the fact that someone is wishing to work with you because she's done so much manipulations behind the scenes. Why is he not listening to her? She has done everything. They have done everything to keep someone from moving forward. Uh, they could be trying to keep a king of cups from moving forward, from coming towards you to collaborate with you as well. There's something where if this king of cups collaborates with you, then uh, they may end up losing something that they've been working on building or just a whole foundation will be dismantled. So there's some type of narrative these people have to keep going with. It's like the lie. It's, it's like the lie that's not a lie. It's like the secret that's not a secret, the lie that's known the secret light is known i don't know how to put this but clearly there's something that has been exposed there's something that's going on behind the scenes which is why this king of pentacles will be leaving this environment he's been with and if he's coming towards you to give you some type of offer i don't know if this is someone that's in the upright or not he could be someone that's in the upright, someone that has mastered himself. Uh, he may just be coming towards you to establish a friendship with you. But they don't want him doing that because it's going to cause a tower for all of them. So I don't know if the King of Pentacles is the same as the King of Cups or there are two different people. Or there could be a King of Swords and a King of Cups. It's something of that nature going on. But someone is moving on and they're moving very fast and leaving something out in the cold because it was very disappointing. Someone is going through some type of transition, walking away from a community. Uh, and I think this has been the plot to keep this person busy, keep him distracted, keep him from self-actualizing, keep him just, keep him stuck in some type of uh, situation where he's not happy, but this man is leaving um, to go be happy, to start over, to establish something somewhere else. Like someone is very determined to move on. Like this is someone very business savvy, very practical. Um, I don't know what, like, this energy is so weird. Like, the Five of Pentacles is throwing me off. Like, is he trying? Oh, okay. There's a King of Pentacles that's trying to put a Queen of Swords. There are two different Queen of Swords. There's a King of Pentacles that's trying to put a Queen of Swords in some type of poverty. Like, keep you in some type of, like, because he benefits from you living in poverty. Like, someone is being paid behind the scenes to keep you in some type of like, like a, a state of poverty, something where it's like you're barely making ends meet. This is someone very greedy. This is someone very heartless. 
Uh, something is going to backfire on him is what I'm hearing. Like someone is about to lose everything with him going from the King of Pentacles to the Five of Pentacles. It's that whatever this man is wishing on you is what's about to happen to him. And he may be seeing you as someone that's not a friend because you're not willing to go along with something as well is what I'm hearing. Uh, but it's like this is not something you're meant to go along with. Whatever friendship he's coming towards you with, you don't want it. Um, there could be a different King of Pentacles. If you know you're a King of Pentacles trying to do the right thing, obviously this is not you. But there's a King of Pentacles that wants to uh, come into a woman's energy to manipulate her. It's that like he's losing. Like someone is in some type of karma they're going through. There's some type of tower they're going through. But they're trying to stay calm. They're trying to act like nothing is going on. So he's leaving. His, he's taking his raggedy behind to come towards you. And give you some type of disingenuous offer, hoping that you won't see through whatever it is he's doing. You're going to have to tell him to move on. I had a dream or like a vision of like a group or someone getting some type of fraudulent business contract together, trying to come in like in a hurry. Like they, they come in in a hurry to give it to a, a woman and they're trying to coerce her to sign this document, to sign this business contract. But if you sign the business contract, your life is over. Like, he's going to be benefiting from the situation while you're slaving away. Like, this is just something to bind you so that you don't end up receiving the actual contract from another party that you are meant to receive. And this is what all these people are working towards. And they're, whoever this is, is coming in quickly. Like, he's coming in quickly to give you this false offer. And he has put in a lot of work. Like, he's hoping that you won't see through whatever it is he's doing. You won't see, uh, 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 that you won't read the fine prints. It's what it is. God, have, have mercy. And he's very determined to come towards you, ma'am. Very determined to come towards you, ma'am. So be careful. Because this is someone whose life depends on this. Like, he's, he stands to lose everything. He stands to lose everything. Like, someone may even want to make it towards you before a king of swords makes it towards you. There could be a king of swords in the system. Like a judge, some type of official that's coming towards you as well. Threat with caution. This could be someone that was holding on to something that belongs to you. There could have been people that he or she was allowing to take from you. Even though they all knew that they shouldn't be doing that. That it was causing you some type of heartache. Yeah. They're coming in to misguide you. They're coming in to misguide you. There's something where it's like a queen of wands as well. It's being seen as someone that is disingenuine. And she's going to keep doing something, she says, until she can't do it anymore. So this has to do with her tempering with someone else's foundation. Her, like, basically juggling your finances, your work, something. that she Because she's wanting some type of opportunity to go to her. She wants something to be given to her. This is someone headed for the penitentiary. Uh, but she says she's going to keep going because someone's mental is... she's. Like someone is mentally ill. So it's kind of like feel it's like a, a mental I don't know how to put this woman. It's like someone is sick, but people don't know that she's sick mentally. And someone is taking orders from her to keep doing something. So it could be like she's been working with this King of Pentacles reverse. She's been paying him. They're both financially motivated, they're both greedy as heck. So they've been working together. To keep doing something, to fumbling, they've been working to fumble your your resources, your finances, your work, your career, something. Like, I don't know what this is. Like, someone is confused. Like, you see how I'm just like, I can't figure what I want to say. She's confused. But someone thinks they're in like some type of competition with you and you don't know them. It's like someone trying to steal what is, steal what is yours. And they feel entitled to it because society has enabled these kind of people to feel that way. And they, they, they feel really great about being entitled to things that don't belong to them. It's something like that. But a court official could be choosing to balance something out. Like something may have, I don't know, a backfire. Or this could just be someone that's in the upright choosing to balance a situation out. Because some type of truth has been illuminated. I'm telling you. Uh, whoever this king of pentacles is... Is going through a lot of heartbreak right now. Like this man, this man stands to lose a lot. Someone stands to lose a lot. Then you have another King of Pentacles that that wants to meet with you.
to give you some type of opportunity. Like, it's just too much going on. Like, can we pick one narrative? Can we pick... <laughs> Can we pick one side and stick to it? It's just too much going on. It's like someone also wants to confuse the messages. It's not. You all have too much going on. There's a king of pentacles that wants to meet with you to give you some type of offer. You may see this person as disingenuine or they're, they're thinking that you're going to see them as disingenuine. There's that king of pentacles. There's a king of pentacles reversed. That's very greedy. That's been working with a queen of wands reversed behind the scenes to fumble your resources, your, your opportunities, your business and things like that. And he stands to lose everything, which he is going to be losing everything. Like someone is stepping right into poverty, may end up having to file for bankruptcy. Someone is very greedy. Like just may have a mental illness as well. It's very insecure, just like her. So the both of them, they are match made in heaven when it comes to the types of activities that they indulge in. Okay. But you have another king of pentacles, the true king of pentacles. That's very loyal, uh, very hardworking, very much established, maybe heartbroken about a union that he forfeit. Yeah, he's heartbroken about a union that he forfeited just to partner up with a group of karmic people in a community. Now he's watching you go while he's going through some type of tower behind the scenes. It may have something to do with a queen of, queen of pentacles he may have partnered up with. Okay, and maybe he knows as well that someone else is coming in to give you an offer and he may be really pissed off about that or just angry about it. Like someone is very mad because it's like he's watching you and he's like, I had this person right in the palm of my hands. I could have worked with this person. Like someone is living in regret. It's part of the reason why these three of sources are here. They're living in regret. They don't understand why they didn't see things the right way, but that's because they will have had a lot of people around them manipulating him telling him all kinds of lies to keep him stuck in some type of karmic situation. Someone uh, maybe going through some type of separation now, that he's separating from, I don't know if it's a wife or a girlfriend or whoever this is that he's been around, some type of collaboration. He's now single, um, I guess ready to mingle, looking deeper into things, especially when it comes to you. We're going to try to stick to the King of Pentacles that's in the upright, because that King of so uh that king of pentacles that's in that's the reverse i can't do it like someone's mental is all over the place got me confused i can't do it like you and your queen of wands you figure your stuff out like someone is stuck in their mind all the time trying to figure out how malicious how malicious he can be like what can i do today to cause disturbance in this person's life what can i do today to hinder this person like someone is obsessed with a feminine energy, but they don't want people to know that they are obsessed with you. And I'm not talking about the person in the upright. This is like a man that's just obsessed with a feminine energy. He'll never have any type of opportunities with. Not in love, not in friendship, not nothing, not business, nothing. Like this is someone, if you're working with them and they're your boss, it's just that's your boss. That ain't nothing else. Nothing else. So he may want you to see him in a different way. But you see, like, the sliminess about him, and you're just like, nah. Or it could be a woman as well, and you're just like, mm, 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 no thank you. I'm allergic to, the, to those kind of energies, your energies. Yeah, something like that, okay? So someone may be pissed off because you don't see them that way. You don't see them romantically. They're not able to deceive you. I don't know what they say, honey. This is, honey, I really don't want to be a part of it. <laughs> I don't want to be a part of it. I don't want to be a part of it, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. The King of Pentacles upright is wishing to meet with you, partner up with you, you and him. But you could be in like your Queen of Swords energy right now. And he may be a little hesitant to come towards you. Um, but, honey, you too, if you're meant to be, it'll happen. Like I always say, but this means it's leaving something out in the cold to come towards you. Whoever this is, he is in the upright. It's heartbroken a lot because he basically, he's realizing that partnering up with you will be like wish fulfillment with him, for him. Excuse me. It would be wish fulfillment for him. So maybe he's no longer partnering up with these people to take you down. Whatever this is, baby. I'm sick of these. Lord, I'm so tired. Every day. The people he partnered up with, there are no friendships. There are no connections. Maybe something is falling apart. Uh, maybe people are choosing to walk away. Uh, maybe people are choosing to see things from a different perspective. I don't know what this is. But, honey, I just know SHIT has hit the fan. 
It's a lot of no contact going on. <laughs> uh, a lot of jaw dropping secrets coming out. It's just too much going on behind the scenes. People trying to steal, cause more illusions, invading your privacy. It's a man that's obsessed with a woman. And this woman, sir, I don't know what kind of mental illness you have, but you need to leave someone alone. You and this woman are never going to be in the same bed. Never going to be holding hands. Don't have any type of romantic feelings about you. I don't know what kind of delusional world you live in. Someone is delusional out here. Someone may have even like been going around talking about you or they're soon to be. Or you, I, I don't know what this is. Like someone wants to control the narrative about you. May have even been telling lies about you to people. God, and something about boss keeps coming up. If this is your boss, this is someone that has been slandering your character behind the scenes, making you seem unfit so that people don't want to connect with you because this is someone that wants to be able to control the narrative. Someone is mentally sick, but when you see him or her in public, they look well put together. They look like they know what they're talking about. Someone practices what it is they have to say, okay? In a sense, it's like they practice what they preach, but not in like as action. Someone rehorses, like someone accesses it. Oh, it'll be the tap. Like he don't want this coming out, or she don't want this coming out. Someone is not very intellectual, like they think they are. They invade other people's privacy to find out information, information, and then they regurgitate to, to that information to make themselves seem intellectual. They want to seem or come across as sophisticated, but they're not. It's something like that. Lord, this energy is confusing. It's confusing. It's confusing. I can't do it. And like I'm trying to stick to the King of Pentacles in the upright, and the, the one in the reverse keeps sticking over. <clears throat> keeps sticking over. I don't know what he has to say, but we really don't care. <laughs> we don't care what you got to say, sir. <laughs> We're trying to focus on the one that's in the upright. The one of substance, the one that doesn't have to, does not have to pretend to be something that he is not or she is not. Because we're just over your energy. There's someone, <clears throat> I'm not talking about you, sir. I, I'm done. <clears throat> I'm done. I am done. I ain't talking about you no more. Okay. Yeah confession there's some type of truth coming out you may have spoken some type of truth about what people have been doing behind the scenes maybe an institution was not fully aware of what was going on and it's astonishing to them that people have been going through this amount of trouble to block you stop you cause still missing stagnation it's like there's something where it's like when a, when a person <laughs> when a king of pentacles takes initiative or maybe a king of swords takes initiative to come towards you and gives you some type of offer people are doing something to cause a stalemate there's some type of truth coming out some type of confession taking place maybe it could even be from a queen of wands that's going to be confessing what it is that she's been doing behind the scenes right to cause some type of stagnation for someone else been pretending to be something she's not so that something can go in her favor and people are seeing that as well so it's like someone will have no choice but to live in their truth. Is what I'm hearing. Like she's been trying to hide the truth. She's been toying around with people. A lot of mind games. Uh, someone is being seen as not creative. So she may have been presenting herself as someone that is innovative. Someone that's very clever. Someone, someone that's multifaceted, but she's not any of the above. Someone is just a karmic trap in her head. I don't, I don't mean to say it in like a spiteful way, but this is what someone is. Just trapped, worried, confused, angry, pissed off. Just someone maybe even be sick. I think someone has some type of mental imbalance as well they're dealing with. <sighs> These people are exhausting, you all. They're exhausting. Like she's she's still doing something to cause some type of manipulation behind the scenes. And this woman has created such a large network of people to work with her. It's insane. Like it's astonishing the amount of people this woman got to work with her to cause someone else's hindrances. And whatever this woman put you through, she wouldn't be able to last a day. But that's what she's about to go through. 
Like everything she's been doing to you, sis wouldn't last five minutes in your shoes. So I don't know how she's about to make it through this karmic cycle because she's about to be going through nothing but blockages and stalemates. All the difficulties she was causing for you, she's about to go through it. But she, someone is just in despair over someone else having a fruitful future, a fruitful life, a happy life, an abundant life. Like it's just insecurities after insecurities after, like there's nothing else to this person. <clears throat> And I don't know what this is. But something is not funny anymore. She's not laughing anymore. Something has gotten real serious. She stands to lose everything, which I'm hearing she will. Like, she has to lose everything in order for her to know what it is she's been putting other people through. Like, I can't. It said you're a queen of wands. She's a queen of wands. You're speaking and living in your truth. And she's having to confess. Some type of confession. A whole lot of confessions going on. Okay. There's some type of meeting about you going on. And people know that you are the truth. People know that something belongs to you. It's probably best for something to be given to you. Instead of the other energy that has been pretending. I don't know what this has to do with. Something about properties, positions, inheritance. Someone may have been stealing from you. There's some type of illegal auditing in the court system for something to go towards her. There's something going on within the court system. This woman is going to jail. You're going to the penitentiary for stealing. Like, and she keeps doing something to hide the truth from coming out. But it's like the people that need to see the truth already know the truth. So I don't even know why she's still out here doing something as far as trying to block the truth, block people. Like, who needs to know the truth knows the truth. It's, it, like, something is not going in your favor. You need to give it up. But there's some type of mental illness this person has. It's a mental illness. This The collaboration may not even be going accordingly anymore. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't understand this. I don't. Because it's like the same... Well, highlight every day with these people. And they say, why are they still committed to this madness? They say, you wake up every day, well, highlight. Go to sleep, well, highlight. Wake up, well, highlight. Go to sleep, well, highlight. Wake up, well, highlight. How much, well, highlight can one person put up with? How much, well, highlight can you, can you uh, 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 produce? I, I don't get it. But the King of Pentacles is in the upright. Listen, I'm going to put this video out just as it is. As confusing as someone wants the message to be, it's not. You're all up to the same thing. Someone does not want their energy to be red. You're slimy as heck, whoever you are, King of Pentacles in the reverse. You're slimy as heck. You're out here living in fear of uh, people knowing the truth, right? Uh, someone seeing or knowing the truth or someone embarking on their journey and being out here seen for who it is that they are because you've been doing a lot behind the scenes to temper with someone's image to temper with someone's work and you are going to be exposed and you will be losing everything you're going to be like taken to court where you are going to lose everything like you may like you're about to be someone's b-i-t-c-h is what i'm hearing you are about to be someone's b-i-t-c-h that you're so desperate behind the scenes to hide the truth but your obsession your obsession with someone is a little bit too much strong it's stronger than your desire to hide the truth so you're just out here being reckless and you think you have your behind cover up. No, you're about to be uh, like a feminist, B-I-T-C-H. Like they're about to like, they're about to have you by the neck. Can't, can't let go, won't let go. You know how Daddy said, can't stop, won't stop. Yeah, <laughs> like you, you're about to be in it. So you can keep pretending all you want behind the scenes that you're in the upright and you're this. Nah, everything is coming out. Whether it's today, tomorrow, uh, a few months from now, it's all coming out. People are going to see you for exactly who you are. Whoever this man is I'm picking up on, he's been like this his whole life. Pretending to be someone diplomatic, pretending to be someone in the upright, someone of solid character, but someone is mentally unstable. Mentally imbalanced. Maybe he runs, uh, maybe he's like a manager in a community, a supervisor, a business owner, 
it could be a woman as well because you know tarot energy is fluid but whoever this is baby they're about to be exposed in a way that even they cannot phantom it it, it it don't make no sense it don't make no sense how dedicated this person is but whoever this king of pentacles in the upright is is wishing to come together with you collaborate with you i would just be careful because there's something about someone coming to a woman with a fraudulent document like a business contract that they want you to sign. And I'm being told to tell you, whatever you're supposed to be doing, it does not require a contract. It does not require a contract. Whatever you're supposed to be doing in your life, with your life, as far as business, does not require a contract. So that should help you figure it out. You could be someone in spirituality, you could be someone that's religious. You could be someone that's in like healthcare, whatever it is. It does not require a contract. Okay. I don't know what this is. But be, be, be very cautious. There's something really slimy behind a contract someone wants to rush in and give to you. Don't sign that contract. Do not sign that contract. Like, it should be, I don't know what kind of level of uh, success you're going to be in, but there's something where you're being told, I'm being told to tell you to build your own. If you build it, they'll come. If you build it, they will come. So you don't need to do any type of contract with anyone. If you build it, yeah, they say if you build it, it it'll come, they will come. So go ahead and stay on your own. Because whatever contract someone wants you to sign, baby, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. You could be someone that's spiritual with a higher with the hermit and the high priestess. You're someone that's a spiritualist. Very professional. Wise knowing. Very gifted. Maybe you don't come across as that, but you're very gifted. Very wise knowing. Very intellectual. You do a lot of introspection. Very in tune with your intuition. But whatever it is this person is coming towards you with, say no. Say no. Whatever they keep telling me, whatever you're supposed to do with your life does not require a contract. It said on your own. Be on your own. If someone wants to extend a helping hand, that's great. If they want to invest in what it is you're doing, that's great. But as far as signing a contract with someone, don't do it. An institution, don't do it. Do not do it. Because there's something where it said you are very innovative. Uh, you're like the thinker. You're the thinking machine. You're the creative one. You're the one that comes with all the ideas. So it's more beneficial for uh, for whoever this, uh, this other party is or who this institution is. Uh, to work with you so you don't need to sign a contract with them because the universe will always have an opportunity around the corner for you and you can always start your own thing so don't sign nothing with these people is binding they're trying to bind you to something they're trying to bind you to something let me see what this is because this is a mess this is a mess I don't know if someone wants you to remain stagnant. And it's the same thing that's happening to her. Some type of decision she's waiting on to be made is not going in her favor. Like, I don't know if she's waiting for an institution to tell her, yes, we're going to work with you. We're going to give you this contract. We're going to give you this position. But it's a no. They're not giving it to her because they know the truth. She may even end up having to confess what she's been doing, like I said. This woman is crazy. <clears throat> Anyways, thank you for watching, folks. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next reading. Goodbye for now.